So, just so we're clear about something, because people seem to be very, very confused about YouTube. And people seem to be conflating prison politics with YouTube and thinking that whatever whatever prison politics there were, that those prison politics applied to YouTube, they don't. Neither does the street politics apply to what we do on YouTube. We all have a constitutional right to speak on whatever we want, whether people like it or not. People's feelings aside, that has nothing to do with what we put out and how we put it out. That's on us. And we are subject to the consequences of that, no matter what they may be. And every last one of us as content creators, we know that for a fact. We don't need no one to tell us, nor remind us, or none of that. But there are people who are sensitive, and they have need to be told this. This is not a prison yard, and the rules on the prison yard do not apply here. Because people seem to think that Chill, 16 to Life, should not have spoken about this, this pig disrespecting the paisas as he did. A blanket disrespect. And I noticed that that you have a you have a debriefer who was who was SMY that snitched on the, the Mexican mafia out there who who's continuing to project. And now he's trying to make he's trying to make chill out to be exactly what he has been and what he's been called out for years. So he says he thinks he's beginning to think that. That Chill is the real hater and race baiter and hate, mo uh, 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 hate monger and all this other stuff. No, it's not true. You can go check all of Chill's content for yourself and know that. It don't, it don't take nothing but just going through his content and seeing for yourself that no, that's not true. But this snowflake having been exposed for the truth about him being on SMY... And him and him debriefing, ratting on the Mexican mafia out there has him triggered. And as I've been saying about him, he projects everything he is onto others. Exactly what he's been doing all along, he tries to accuse others of. And, and when you find on there where Chill has spoken out, it's usually because that fool is race baiting because he's a racist hater at heart. And it's been evident for those who've watched long enough. He's been called out for that for years by not just blacks, but by, by, by the browns, by everybody's called this same creep out for doing exactly what he's trying to accuse everyone else of. He's exposed, dude. There's no more hiding behind it. And now he's all flustered, sitting there trying to lie on chill because he can't face the facts of who and what he is himself. No, that's you, little buddy. That's you that does that. And now that you're getting it from all sides, you can't handle it, huh? But shout out to Chill, man. Chill really does put out some good content. There was a good one that I seen the other day that I wanted to react to where he said something like, fuck the homies or something like that. And he, in, in, uh, he was speaking about how when you get locked up, you know, the homies go to, to, to fucking your lady and all this other shit. You know what I mean? It's a really good video. You know what I mean? There's some really good content that you'll find. And you can see, you can see how when he when he speaks to these prison prison politics and whatnot, the respect, the due respect that he gives to all of it. Because he's not trying to offend nobody. He didn't go out of his he never goes out of his way to offend somebody in the fashion that this fool does. You can look the case up for yourself about this fool. And I don't need to say no names. In the same way that he wouldn't say Chill's name, I don't need to say his name. Because 
We know exactly what I'm talking about. But once again, throwing rocks, hiding his hand, showing himself for exactly who he is. And every time he does it, he's going to get exposed. It's in your best interest, little buddy, to turn the page and go talk about something else. Dead ass. Because you're caught in the web of your own deceit and you're being exposed for it. And every time you try to project and try to make everyone else out to be who you are, I'm going to point it out to you. Because people have been pointing this out about this fool for years. These very things he's been called out for by, by, by the Chicanos, by the Browns, by the Blacks. Every time he does it, he gets called out for it. And everyone can see from that interview with, with that pig, how exactly how he played it. So yeah, you're not going to get away with that no more, dude. You ain't going to be throwing rocks and hiding your hand. You ain't going to be sitting here projecting who and what you are onto other people. You debriefed, dude. You're weak. You broke down. You ratted on the Mexican mafia and you were SMY. And you're pandering to a pig because he, you know he knows that. And the last thing you're going to do is try to check him when you know he can wreck you. Because you know he knows you were there. But you're too coward to admit it. You're, you're too coward to admit that that's what it is with you. And the cold thing is, is how you play your audience for fools. Your whole viewing audience, you're playing for food because you will not tell the truth and you haven't since day one. But you need to cease with all the projecting. But going back to where I began this video, this isn't a yard, bro. This ain't no prison yard. This is YouTube. And when you watch these videos of mine, this is Daniel Sizes, Rose, Grows, and Stones. Just like if you go tap in 16 to Life, that's chill. So on and so forth. Right is right. Wrong is wrong. And people really need to quit with this delusional J-Cat shit. Thinking this is a prison yard. And that those rules apply. They don't. Neither do the street rules apply to what we do on here, dude. We all know the consequences. And we can all handle that, obviously. Or we wouldn't be doing what we're doing. Now, you guys have a great Friday.